Hello. In this video, I will share a very useful tip for animating changing text like this in 3ds Max. First, let's quickly create a text object. I'm just going to write a random number here for now. In older versions, the software doesn't allow you to animate numbers changing over time. Meaning, you can't write a number here and change it further in the timeline, expecting the software to interpolate between the numbers. Fortunately, there is a neat trick that we can use. We can make the text display some measurements, like distance. Let me explain in more detail. We have two boxes here. We can use the distance value between these two boxes and display it with this text. So if we move the boxes closer to each other, the number will approach zero as the distance is decreasing. And the number will increase when the box will be moved away from each other. Now, in order to get the value of the distance between the two boxes, open the helpers object list and create an expose transform. The expose transform basically exposes a number of values between two objects, such as the distance. In the expose transform properties, first choose one of the box as the exposed node, and the other as the local reference node. If we scroll down, you can see the distance value between these two boxes. It is also a good idea to shorten the name of the expose transform as we will have to reference it in a few seconds. Now select the text and open the curve editor in the graph editor's menu. Expand the text object in the modified object section. First select kerning and then right click on it to choose the assigned controller option. Choose float script in this list of controllers. Here first create a name for the variable that is our text. Then click on assign node and assign the text object. Now in the expression section, we will write a very simple line of code. First write my text dot text. We are basically accessing the text parameter of the text object. Then make it equal to $expose t dot distance. Pretty self-explanatory, we are saying to make our text equal to this distance parameter. We also need to make sure to return the distance as string, because text parameter does not accept integer value. Now, if you click on Evaluate, you will see that the text has changed to the distance value. If you don't want the value in decimal, you can tell the Expose Transform to return the value of distance in integers like this. Now, if you change the distance between the two boxes, the value will change accordingly. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope this trick is helpful to you in your projects. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload straightforward tutorials on a number of subjects regularly. Thank you for watching.